Welcome to Crema Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, power problems offer platinum a huge demand opportunity, and some 450 million rand has been paid to former miners in the past year. The electricity crisis is offering South Africa's demand-hungry platinum mining companies a major opportunity to stimulate the offtake of platinum. The basic intention of the DTI is to industrialize the country. As you know, electricity is the main input. And this kind of electricity from uh, fuel cells is there to drive industrialization, a beneficiation of uh, the, the platinum, which is a very important catalyst for manufacturing the fuel cells. And this initiative will also feed into the much anticipated uh, Platinum Valley, SZ. And how much money did you give to this company to get this going? Uh, about 7.5 million rands. And they built this 100 kilowatt fuel cell which is supplying power to the Chamber of Mines building? Yes, and also to showcase to other m m mining houses that this is a, is a real thing and if they can also consider it it can also come, uh, bring uh, positive spin-offs. In the past year, 450 million rand in claims have been paid to former Southern African miners to compensate them for unpaid pension, provident fund and service award benefits. The second issue that is important is that it is still very difficult for relevant stakeholders to trace uh, some of the uh, beneficiaries, including the ex-miners themselves. And so part of what uh, the Trust and, and, and the Association of Ex-Miners have been doing is to actually support a project where they recruit tracers on the ground and try and go as far and deeper to the communities to identify them. And I think amplifying that, that work is something that is going to be very useful going forward. In fact, they reported uh, some progress in terms of how many people they've traced. Um, in uh, Lesotho, more than 12,000 people have been traced. In uh, uh, Mozambique, almost 5,000 people have been traced. And in Swaziland, I think more than 1,000 people have been traced. In South Africa, about 9,000 people have been traced. And of those, about 3,000 have been paid out. Uh, and so I think that's a, a major step for us going forward. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.